Hi, this is a short video with just some tips and tricks and just to show you some random things that don't usually go into my videos, but these are things that I've collected over time. So I wanted to show you some things that I have. Uh, one is this um, can opener, okay, or bottle opener. And uh, they also sell these in paint stores where it's, it doesn't even have a point on it. It's just, um, you know, it's just flat. But you really want something like to open these cans. You really need something strong to get in there because it's one thing when you first open your can of paint, okay, it's pretty well sealed. But after you have been painting, what happens is, you know, you're, you're getting paint out and paint can get here in these ridges. And what I do is after, um, especially on the smaller cans, this is a gallon can, so I usually am pouring paint out into a smaller container. But um, what happens is when you pour it out, a lot of times paint gets in this ridge. So you either want to use a piece of carton or I just take a paintbrush and I clean it out, okay? as well as I can because what happens is uh, once you put this top on okay um, the paint that's in that ridge is going to seal it and it can be really hard to get that top out now what I'm going to do here is because sometimes paint is in that ridge this is another tool that you're going to want to get. This is a rubber mallet. Mine's really worn down. This is, I've had it for 15 years, okay? So you want a rubber mallet. You can use a regular hammer, but this has more surface area and it's not as hard or loud. But what I like to do is put a piece of cloth over the top because if you have paint in that little ridge, you know, any paint at all, and you start closing it that and without this cloth that paint can come spurting out at you okay so I'm just extra careful and you really want to seal it because you're investing a lot of money in that paint and you don't want it to be drying out now you can see I have quite a collection of paints here the smallest container that I can get of the house paint is a quart so when I'm working with these colors, what I do is I put them in jars, okay, and we're constantly reviewing the jars because uh, some of these colors can sit on the shelf for a long time. I have them sorted by colors, as you can see, and um, it, it, you just find it it's a lot easier to work with the jars, and if you're working with a paint, you don't want to have an open can of paint because it's, it'll be drying out. But these jars, we have to constantly be opening them and adding water and stirring them up. But what happens is this paint can get really old. So what that's the reason why I have these. So you, I use these to strain my varnish sometimes if it gets lumpy or if my paint gets lumpy. So it's always good to have some strainers. These are super cheap plastic strainers. You get them at the dollar store for, I don't know, not very much money. And um, so those are really handy to have. And uh, this is a whisk. And the whisk is also really good, especially in your gallons. But you can get a smaller whisk. Um, I've even used these in five gallon, you know, containers of paint. And so this really helps get the lumps out as well. So a whisk is something that's really handy to have. Uh, your um, strainers, get a rubber mallet, uh, get a can opener or some sort of, uh, you know, yeah, can opener. This is a regular can bottle opener, but you can get one at the store. And also, I always have some sticks on hand. This is an old piece of bamboo, and I have some sticks, and I use them to stir my paint. And so I don't have to go looking for a stick every time. I've got a whole collection of sticks here, okay? And you can also see I have a whole collection of rags. So this is the first and most important thing is you have to have rags. You need them to clean your brushes. You need them to clean your countertops. You need them just for everything, okay? 
and um, I don't have a sink in my studio, but I use these um, detergent um, containers, and that way when um, when I would need to fill what my old my yogurt containers, okay, or cheese whatever containers I have, my plastic containers, and so I have water here, okay, in the studio. So if you don't have a sink in your room and you want to have access to water, this is a really great idea. You can just take one of these, you know, detergent uh, bottles that have a little spout on it and put it on a shelf. And here I have my collection of paintbrushes and sponges and all those different things. Now we're going to get started on our next project and so before I start filming, I just wanted to show you another thing that's super important to have in your studio are the lint rollers, okay? You will need these to clean your canvas before your first top coat and after every coat and before you varnish, you will need your lint rollers. Okay, well this actually turned out to be kind of a longer video than I had planned. Thank you for joining me here at Laurel's Originals. It's another beautiful day here in Costa Rica, looking at it from the studio onto the Valley of San Jose. All right, for more tips and tricks, check out my YouTube channel, Laurel's Originals Area Rugs for Interior Design. All right, have a great day. Thank you for joining. Bye-bye.